she made a long AI video with what we did. Oh! I know! And it's free with consistent characters! Through binoculars, steam curls high A cherry pie beneath the sky Pippa tugs Barnaby's sleeve tight Look, that crust is pure delight Tiptoe past the muddy ground, Ray lies waiting, whack, no sound! Barnaby's eyes go cross and wide, star spin where his brains reside! Oh, what a pieful mess they made! Feathers fly and plants cascade! Farmer Giles just scratches his head! While chaos rolls on rubber tread! Oh friends, and welcome again, Nova here. Today, I'll show you another workflow to turn a story idea into a full animation. You don't even need to write prompts. And yes, it's free, even for longer videos with audio. It's so simple, guys. I'm here in Gemini. First, click on Explore Gems. You'll see some ready-made ones here, but let's create our own settings. Click on New Gem. Here, give it a name. The description is optional. It's just for you to remember what it is later. Now, the most important part is the instructions. But before we paste anything, why are we even doing this? Why not just use a normal chat? The difference is that a gem remembers your rules. You set it up once, and it saves your style so you don't have to explain yourself every time you want a new video. And regarding the prompt itself, it should be structured in three parts. First, the role, giving the AI a persona. Second, the instruction, what you want it to actually do. And third, the output, telling it exactly how to format the response. So right here in the instruction field, I paste the prompt. This is what tells the gem exactly how to act and how to format our scenes. Down here is the knowledge section. You can upload files or references if you want to guide the AI even further in the future. On the right, Use the preview window to simply test it out. Once everything looks good, hit save. And just like that, our director is hired. Now, look at the result we get. It separated the character prompts to generate our actors separately from the scene prompts. This separation is exactly what we need for the next step. The gem gave us the character prompt. I take that and go straight to Google Whisk. It's free, and its best feature is the reference style tool. That's how we lock in character consistency across the whole story. I upload the Sean the Sheep image as a style reference. This ensures every scene is styled correctly. Then I paste the character prompt from the gem and hit generate. I forgot to show, but I lock the seed and set the aspect ratio. And just like that, our character is ready. We save this master image. Now for the rest of the scenes, you have two options. Stay here in Whisk or use the Nano Banana feature in Gemini. Both are consistent, but remember, Whisk is unlimited and watermark-free, while Gemini can have daily limits. Personally, I prefer Nano Banana, Inside Gemini. I upload the character images we saved from Whisk. This image acts as the reference for the AI. And I paste the scene prompts and generated all 12 scenes. Okay guys, let's talk about money. How do we make money from AI? Let's take a quick break to talk business. Dfans is the decentralized creators platform with AI-powered insights. Dfans is 100% AI-friendly and will never ban your account for using AI. On other platforms, a single ban can freeze your assets and cause you to lose customers. This will never happen on Dfans. If you've been banned elsewhere, Dfans never bans accounts and welcomes creators who cannot work on other platforms. Getting started is simple. 
sign up as a creator, select AI-generated content as your category, and you're in. Notice how they have a dedicated AIGC category? That's because they actually want AI creators on the platform. So how does this actually work? With DFAN's AI chatbot, it's like having a real chatter who works for you 24-7. You can focus entirely on what you do best, creating content and attracting traffic from Instagram, TikTok, or any other platform. Once people land on your DFAN's page, the AI chatbot takes care of everything else, chatting, engaging, and even helping you earn from fans automatically. Here is a real case example. One creator joined in the evening and earned over $3,000 overnight thanks to the AI chatting with a whale. This is real. If you're ready for a platform that respects your AI content and automates your business, check out DFANS at the link below. Now, let's get back to our workflow. Before we go to Grok, we need motion prompts. I use a new prompt in Gemini. This prompt get a job to Gemini to analyze the image and generate a short cinematic instruction only describing the movement. I upload my static image here and it returns a cinematic prompt. I repeat this for all 12 scenes. Now we have a static image and a perfect motion command for every single shot. Okay. We're at the final step. Before we create anything in Grok, let's do one quick setting change. Go to Behavior and turn off Enable Automatic Video Generation. We need that manual control over every shot. Now, go to Imagine. Set the mode to Video, choose your aspect ratio, Upload the image from Gemini and paste the motion prompt. You can also try the auto generation feature here without a prompt to see which result you prefer. Okay, let's see the result. Perfect. Now, let me show you how you can perfectly create longer video. We want to extend this scene. All you do is simple. Put the cursor to the end frame of the video, right click, and save the frame to your computer. Sometimes we just get a weird frame because it's mid-action, like this one where the fingers look distorted. In those cases, I turn that bad frame back to Gemini and ask it to refine that part preserving the pose and the look. Then, I use the refined image as the starting point for my new video. Upload it, and yes. Perfect result. And that's the full workflow. Remember, Grok handles the sound and dialogues too. I think I see something amazing! All these videos I created with a simple prompt. Research claims that it's free in the US with a generous limit of 20 videos per day for creators. All the gem codes are in the description. I hope you enjoy this workflow. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.